One time I was on Mad, and they made us use this Yaris. Did I tell you about this? A Yaris. So they go. Oh. So the the owner of the the the, the, the David Salzman goes. He owned the show. He was just like, so you know, we we need to use the Yaris in our in our sketches. So Bob, you make sure you say Yaris. <laughs> and when you're on a date, you have to go. You want to go in my Yaris to whatever, right? And I go, do we get compensation? And they go, no, right? So so we're just hawking a Yaris. You know what I mean? Yeah. For to, to for you to make money. So one day I stole <laughs> the car, the keys, because we had a Yaris. And I had Jordan in appeal in there, and I think Ike was in there. And I go, let's go for a ride. Like, are you sure? Yeah. And I went into an alleyway and I scraped the sides <laughs> on purpose. Oh yeah. <gasps> and I would jump over these things. I fucked up the yard. It's like six thousand dollars worth of damage. <laughs> <laughs> and I brought it back, like and they're like, Bobby. And I go, in your, you know. And what I'm saying is, is that if that if I did that now, <laughs> what would happen? Uh, you'd be in fucking Rikers. Dude, I'm I'll not even Rikers Island. I'm not even talking about that. Like, oh, okay. like people. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. You're talking about a Yaris. I was, uh, yeah. I was, right, I, 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 wait, are no. we on the same page? No, are, no, no I, oh, no, I'm talking like, about like, like cocaine. Sex. Like cocaine. <laughs> cocaine was a, what people did. I know because I remember seeing Richard but, Pryor. No, yeah, Richard Pryor was on a set <laughs> and he was smoking crack on a movie set. Yeah, and people were like, "Ah, oh, that's it's just crack." The first time I ever <laughs> yeah, saw, co I saw heroin. Bizarrely early in my life, yeah, because I had a weird job in Philly, and yeah. there was a guy, but it was something normal, and we just said, "Oh, the guy's a heroin addict." What was the job? I worked at a shoe store, oh. and the oh. owner of the shoe store was addicted to heroin. <laughs> and I was, this is kind of crazy to think about now, but I was 13 years old. He was a nice enough guy. Yeah, he was addicted to heroin, and it was the first. Not only was the first time I ever saw anyone shoot up, it was the first time I ever saw someone shoot up in their foot. He would use what? in front of you. Yeah, of course, and not because he. I don't know if that's in the course, but not because he worked yeah. in a, he didn't inject it in his foot because it was a shoe store, which yeah. I thought, like, oh, is this like a thing? <laughs> and he would literally go, no, nah, man, my fucking veins are done. And he, that, the only fucking uh, thing he could get it in was yeah. through his foot. Yeah. And I was 13, and I didn't tell my parents because I kind of thought, well, that's weird. But then, like, we made good money. He paid us cash. We were stock boys. And then I thought nothing of it. And it was really until, like, this moment that I thought that's pretty weird because it was like, <laughs> like probably it's not, but it was Philly. So we saw a lot of weird shit in Philly. But it's I, also cool. Like uh, this generation but, would go complain. They, but what I'm saying is I didn't see Coke until I'm not going to say it. I'm wrong. I saw Coke never until a Hollywood set. I have no idea what's going on. What are you using drugs for? Not me. Like get to the point though. In Hollywood? Dude, you talked about Yaris. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but I'm just trying to now figure yeah, out why. Okay, my Yaris was wrong, okay? <laughs> was so I'm why is saying the <laughs> shit that happens on a set. Forget any drugs. I think they've been working. People, do you know that actors hook up with actors? Actresses and actors? Yeah. Wardrobe yeah. have had sex with actors? Or, a, or, or wardrobe is hooked up with craft service? Yeah, 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 yeah. That would be considered a crime now. The people true. like each other. Right, they right, right. hook up. Right, right, right. That's okay. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. And these people act like, eh. Yeah. They have a fucking intimacy consultant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What yeah, the yeah, fuck yeah. is that? But, but, the fuck out of here. But have you thought about this, though? Do you understand what I was talking Back about? I'm sorry the, I didn't stay on your timeline. The, the, kids, in the, <laughs> the kids in the 60s, <laughs> I took right? took a Yaris and the fucked kid, it up. Not, all right, uh, fine. <laughs> You're crazy. <laughs> Johnny Depp did the hotel room. He ruined it at the Four Seasons. I fucked up a Yaris. <laughs> Go ahead. Can we go back? Yes. I wanted to have a normal. It was great. No, we're having a no it's normal. This is normal. Yeah, yeah. I love it. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> but you ever thought, think about this? Okay. Yes. The kids from you know, I mean, that grew up in the forties and fifties, they yes. became a, you know, in their twenties, yes. they did the sixties, you know, the hippie movement, all that stuff. Yes. And their parents were like, "The music's devil worship. The music's too loud. I don't understand your nudity. I don't understand your culture." That's what we're doing to the younger generation now. I, We're the old people now. I agree. It's too loud. I agree I'm being an old lady. But am I? Yeah. You don't understand. I do understand. No, and we're trying. No, I do understand. You don't understand. And what I'm doing as no, an old do, man, I'm trying to. I'm trying to adapt to what they're saying because no, no there's certain things that just don't make sense. But back in then, reality. Showing your titty. No, in reality, showing your titty at Woodstock didn't make any sense to the people. No, but that's a titty. Now they would say it's a dick. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. That's I why mean, yeah, we yeah, have yeah. to say, like, I, I know the I'm, whole thing. I I don't want to get you in trouble. We're not getting in trouble. Okay, but the whole thing with like trans 
movement is beautiful. We've known trans our whole life. She, I grew up in Philly. They were always just called transvestites. We work in Hollywood. There's tons of trans, yeah. okay? Way before all this movement happened. Yeah. My whole thing is I try to address it in a way. I'm trying to do a joke about it, but I can't I haven't really yeah. do it yet, yeah. which is basically like I have no... The, the disconnect is when somebody's wearing a Jill Sander dress. Yeah. And he <laughs> has, you know, an Hermes mini. Yeah. But he has a beard. Yeah. And he still has a cock. Yeah. A nine inch cock. Okay. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with but that. But what the, what, the, what the farmer in Iowa is going to go, hey, bro. And he's like, fuck you. And it's like, all I'm saying is we were raised to see that that cock represented still a dude. Okay. And so. But we just don't understand. Dude, what is that? Yeah, yeah, I just. I'm I, saying it's like, it doesn't mean you're not going to become just a woman. Go, it go with the flow. <laughs> so we don't get in trouble. But that's Go the with the flow. See, you're scared. So we, you're oh, scared. I, oh, I'm scared. You're scared. I'm scared, but what, amigo. But what I'm trying to say is, is yeah, that yeah. you can be that. And it doesn't mean you can't feel that way and you can't live a beautiful life. That 